This is a video about superposition, the beginning of chapter four. And I wrote a how-to to help go through the steps that I'm gonna use right now. So the idea of superposition is that we're gonna find the current through a resistor as a function of first just this power supply, then this, then this. So we're gonna write three simple circuits um, each time turning off all but one source. So each circuit that I'm going to draw will have, we will have to turn off two of the power supplies. So I'm drawing here the one according to the 16 volts. And this is the only new thing in superposition. If it's a current supply, we're going to open it. So I want to turn this current supply off by just opening it like this. In the 21 volt voltage supply, this one, I'm turning off by shorting it. I'm going to do the same thing later in these circuits, but now this current IA, due to this power supply 16 volts here, will be much simpler to solve. So this is 4K, this is 8K, and 8K. So this is an 8K total resistance, which is gives us 16 divided by 8k, it's 2 milliamps. This is the current on this resistor due only to the 16 volt power supply. We're going to do the same thing for IB and IC. Um, here I'm going to just leave the 10 milli. So I'm going to short these two voltage supplies here, this and this. And now this is 10 milli, this is 4k, and the uh, sum of these two is uh, these, these are in parallel. So my current IB, and notice I'm drawing the same direction as this circuit. My IB will be minus 5 milliamps by current of vision. Finally, I'm going to leave the 21 volt there by shorting the 16 and opening the 10 milli. And now this is 21, this is 8K, 8K, and 4K. And now notice I have a 4K in parallel with 8K, which is 4 times 8K squared divided by 12K. It's 32, 32 divided by 12. There's a K on the top, uh, 2 point something, 5K I'm going to guess. So 2.5K is these two in parallel, plus 8K is 10 point K. So the equivalent resistance that the 21 volt is seeing is 8 plus 2.5K, which is 10.5K, and the current Actually, the current here is um, 21 volts divided by 10.5K, which is 2 milliamps. So these 2 milliamps are going to divide up in 2 to 1. So I C will be um, two thirds of is that true? Eight divided by twelve. Yes, two thirds of two milli, which is one point three milliamp approximately. Four divided by three. So now I had to turn off every every each one of them. I actually left on only one of them, I redrew the circuit, I solved each circuit, and I repeated for each independent source, and I just need to add the results. So finally I1 will be IA plus IB plus IC. I1 is 2 minus uh, 2 milli minus 5 milli plus, 
plus 1.3 milli, I1 will be minus 1.7 milliamps. And this is our final, final um, result. So the take home message here is you need to remember how to turn off the power supplies. And when it's a current source, you open it. When it's a voltage source like this one, you short across the terminals. The way I remember it is the current's usually the arrow, so I open it. This voltage supply is usually um, a, uh, it's open, and I short it, so I, I invert the, uh, the idea of the drawing here. So I hope this was uh, clear enough.